Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasies. So I'm going to be sharing with you 10 tips for 2022. Some of them are my New Year's resolution for the game on things that I should have done last 2021. So without further ado, let's start with number one. Number one, guys, is definitely get to know the limitations of your roster. So this is your, you know, your general roster for your figure. So um, make sure that, especially if you're beginning the game, make sure that you establish um, a defender, at least one, at least one vanguard, at least one range and support and specialist. So those are... I think that the things that you should prepare when you're a beginner, once you've established your roster, um, like uh, what I have. So more or less you have, you're going to be um, identifying needs. Um, you're going to go to only one per, per position. Then you go to uh, next going to be um, two per position. So again, identify your needs, identify what you need to close out certain content in the game and you'll just be fine as for number two know who to build established team so um teams that i mean will be composed of your three main um brands or factions namely you have let's red then you have tenma then you have uh, um, this is going to be Galatea. The other two factions or brands will be just be splashes in your team. So they will just complement your team from time to time. But again, focus on these three. Build established teams. At least build five for each. So right now, I've, I've exceeded my minimum of five. So I already have uh, eight. For Let's Red, for Tenma, I have seven. And for Galatea, I have six. So um, my need right now is to get, hopefully we could get another um, defender that is ultra for um, for Galatea. Because this team needs a, you know, needs badly support new units to come in. And uh, just want to segue with number three. Um, that is true. We need to prepare um, our transition into Ultras. So I already transitioned to most of Ultras in my team. The only ones that I haven't transitioned yet is Galatea because I don't have a defender that I'm willing to you know, uh, rely on uh, most of the time. So that is why Yuki is still here as uh, one of the remaining super figures that I have been using so far so um it might be a hard um target for free to play to transition to ultras but the game um doesn't necessarily want you to go above 160 so there's a 160 level cap for all super so as soon as you can you know if it's if you have enough then try to transition your um your supers into ultra so what i mean with transition is um um uh take out most of your supers just use the ones that you need um to plug in some of your needs and transition to ultras for most of your lineups at number four guys is one of the things that i missed early on in the game and uh, let's go to the equip and as you can see here um the precise equip most of you guys i know haven't seen this button it's not labeled as recommended gear but it's 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 labeled as precise equip so for the for this what this function um the game will be able to recommend you a couple of sets that you will need for a certain unit and I think the the recommendations are spot on. Um, you don't need to, you know, to have a problem in asking what I should equip with the specific unit. They have recommended gears already that fit probably around 90 to 90, 90 to 95% accurate or near 100 for, you know, based on my experience when I try to equip new units with gear. Okay, for number 5, um farm for higher level gear i cannot stress this enough if you're progressing 
um the farming here would de really depend on my tips for number one and number two and also number three because you'll be needing um a lot of copies you'll be needing a lot of um resources to level up your figures but definitely make this one of your priorities in 2022 um to farm these up to peach because um gears will definitely give you a lot of bonus stats and would definitely be um a, a you know a key role in terms of if you hit or if you're stuck in a certain level these are the only ones that you can change or you can upgrade okay for number six uh i can't stress this enough we don't have a current banner here for um brand exclusive for limited sorry not brand exclusive for a limited time banner um, the last limited time banner that we had was with Xantha Kane and uh, she's now long gone. We are expecting a new banner which is Rin. So unfortunately I haven't saved that much. So again for future banners, um, especially for 2022, try to save up um, your gems. Do not use them in your in stock banner. So do not use it here because they will really be crucial in pulling for banners as you know as you have seen already we do have um, banners for newly dropped figures so uh, please save up your gems um, don't use it for this banner okay so next on our discussion for number seven is what are the best shop deals really so the only answer that i can give you the best shop deals are is or are going to be when you don't spend actual currency for you know uh you wanna you know you don't want to open your wallet so those are the best deals um but for those who want to spend in the game definitely that is your option but for the best deals as you can see here the fully store has one of the best deals here especially this one um you can actually consume or you can actually buy uh, items that are consumed with your gold or your lucky coin so an option also to spend your diamonds or your gems um is here as well because you can you know we can save up for those so these are one of the best um items because the fully wish is really hard to come by and also this one is a good spend as long as you have extra gems you don't do this every day anyway it's just a you know it's just case to case just in case you need to complete a complete 10 pulls and you lack one then you get this one the fully wish and also for this one the ultra blind box piece if you lack five then you get it i'm not saying you get this every day but again um the these pulls do bring you value because you don't spend for these and also just want to go through especially for 5f the otaku store is one of the best places that you can you can summon for ultras so save this up up to one five preferably you go with this also for your board game um grind these grind the um the currency for this one uh club store one of the best are these two as well and the honor store as well you you'll be getting a fully wish here um these are good um of uh, these are good in value buys if you want to say but for these heroes this will take a while um but you eventually have an option to farm these two okay so one of the content that you probably didn't realize or haven't seen yet is the bureau trial so these give you a lot of gems do not disregard this check out um all of the you no know, the the tasks that you need to complete you might it, it most of them or some of them might be in arms reach already so if you can complete then you try to complete this this is only just a little bit of effort and you get a lot of goodies here for the beginner task and the inter intermediate task the good thing about this is you get a selector eventually for the ultra and megan is one of the good um good pulls for the selector and also this one so you technically have two selectors this one is going to be a selector for a badge okay so one other tip guys that i would like to mention is Please do three star 
um, your sacred tour. Um, I already have all of the guides from one to eight, all three stars. Um, the additional rewards are very good. Um, I know that you still get the sweep rewards uh, even if you don't three-star this, but the additional rewards are really, really good. And you should, you know, you should get this. Basically, at, at this time, um, after the guide that uh, I posted, these are easy to get and basically these are free already. So don't forget to um, three-star all of your sacred tour stages. And the last one, which is my 10th tip for you guys, is make sure that uh, what you put on the otaku are the figures that you're using. I know we have a limited space for our otaku, but again, you just have to pick which ones are you going to use, then you put them here. And the other one, just to, me just to mention about the otaku, please take time to... Uh, more or less fix your otaku like mine. I, this needs a little fixing and reorganizing. This is just the bare minimum. I actually stopped from the first floor that I designed. The second floor or the third one, I have not put into thought on how I'm going to design this. But if you can see, some of your friends here have their otakos already. They have designed it. They have designed it well. And try to visit them and support also your friends Get inspiration from the otaku and try to decorate your, your otaku or arrange your otaku for 2022. So this is one of the most, <laughs> one of my sins from last year that I failed to do. So this year, I'm going to decorate my otaku, I promise. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Hope um, my 10 tips for 2022 helped you. And please do consider subscribing because uh, this helps my channel a lot. And also, guys... Um, don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any figure fantasy videos. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.